Okay, I just wanted to show this uh, plate. This is uh, this is from Chris over at CT. What this does is um, this. There's a lip here. You can notice the lip on the front of the heat exchanger. Now, um, it's kind of a vulnerable place. If if you happen to go over a log or you go over something that rubs along the bottom of your machine, that can catch your heat exchanger and rip that son of a pup right off of there. So. So um, I didn't really want to get into a whole skid plate. Um, I had one last year, didn't really like it. It held too much snow up in here. Um, I guess the extreme plate is narrower, so that, that's a, a good alternative. Um, so, but for me, what I did is uh, I wanted to try this plate from Chris. Um, so as you can see, the nice thing about it is it's got, uh, it's got six holes in it. Um, and the stock sled has six 3 16 holes right here. So. He gives you the rivets. This goes uh, right on just like this. It's got, the, it's got the cutout right there. I'm just trying to hold it in place and hold the camera. So the six holes line up and the cutout for the, um, I'm not sure what that is. That must be the bottom of the motor. That little uh, thing that hangs down. I don't know what that is actually. Um, that lines up with that. But what, what it doesn't have is this, this hole cut out. This is for your oil change on the four stroke. So um, Chris makes these for the E-Tech, but so I'm gonna just basically do some, some cutting to this plate. I'm not sure if Chris uh, makes, that, makes these yet for the four stroke, but um, I told him I had no problem doing a little modification. So, um, so I'm gonna cut that out big enough so this, uh, I can get at this later to change the oil and then rivet this new plate on. Um, Got me wondering now what that little bump out is there. Is that the chain case? I guess that, no, that couldn't be the chain case because the chain case, yeah, chain case is back here. And here's that nice new, uh, that nice thing that I, my E-Tech did not have this. Looks like a nice heavy duty thing to, uh, to save uh, any, if you hit something, save the uh, chain case. Um, of course, this has this on it to save the uh, muffler when you hit something. Um, so, so really, don't hit anything. That's that's the whole theory here. <laughs> but uh, Skidoo has got you covered in a couple spots. Um, so, I'm not sure if that's just the bottom of the flywheel, um, magneto, whatever you know. That little, uh, or you know what I think it might be. There might be a rad hose that runs under there. I, I would have to actually look under the hood and and figure that out, but I got the whole hood back together now. So, um, okay, so I'll come back in a bit when we uh, get this plate mounted up.